Hi friends, it's Steffi and welcome to another Cost and Con video on my channel. I'm going to be doing a Kinata cosplay makeup tutorial. Before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Steffi Blue Bear. The first thing that I do is I moisturize my face with this Green Piggy Collagen Jella Pack. It has a spatula in it and it's really jiggly and all I do is I just take a tiny bit on the spatula and put it on my face and afterwards I just rub it in and it makes my skin nice and moist. Next, I'm using the Burt's Bees Lip Balm in Cucumber and Mint to moisturize my lips. Next, I'm going to be using the eyebrow powder in the brand Palladio in the color brown. And I use this all the time for my eyebrows. And I do my typical method of underlining the under part of my eyes and tapping and just filling it in. I don't really need to be that perfect for this makeup tutorial for Hinata because I'm going to be wearing a wig and the wig kind of covers my eyebrows anyway. So um, you don't really need to be so perfect with your eyebrows when it comes to this cosplay. Next, I'm using the Too Faced Concealer in the color Ferris, and I'm putting a few dabs of that underneath my eyebrows and using a thin brush just to shape it out. And then after that, I'm going to be using my fingers just to smooth it out. I'm going to be using that same concealer to prime my eyelids. I put a few dabs of concealers on my eyes, and I use my fingers to blend it out. Now I'm taking the Real Her One palette and I'm using the color Strong, which is a cool toned brown color and I'm putting that all over my crease. This is one of my favorite palettes to use for a natural look. Now I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and I am blending out what I just did. Using that same palette, I am using this black color called Smar and also putting it on my crease and more of my outer V to make it sort of more of a smoky eye. I'm using a small crease brush to put this on my eyes. It's easier to put smaller amounts of color on your eyes if you have a more thinner, smaller brush. Now I'm using a fluffy brush to blend that out. What I did is I also took a little bit of that brown color on this brush to help blend out the black. Going in with that same palette, I am using the color Fine, which is like a whitish shimmery color and putting that on my eyelids. And once again, blend all of that out with a fluffy brush. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier Canna Glow Soft Luminous Foundation in the color Buff, and I am dabbing a whole bunch of dots all over my face. I'm taking a beauty blender and I'm blending all of that all over my face, making sure that it's evenly applied. And in the video, I didn't show it, but I also added another layer just so it can have more coverage. Using the same concealer before, I'm dabbing a little bit underneath my eyes and using a beauty blender to blend all of that out to cover my dark circles. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder in 120 Classic Ivory and using a fluffy powder brush to apply that to my face. Going back to the eyeshadow palette, I am taking the color strong and I'm using a smudge brush to apply that to my under eyelid and smudge it out a little bit, almost halfway to underneath my eyes. Make sure that you blend that out. Taking that black color, I'm using a smaller smudge brush to put that underneath my eyelid, but I'm not going as far down as the brown, just a tiny bit.
and you want to make sure that you blend that all together. Next, I am taking the ColourPop Smoke Show palette and using the white color called Young Love and I am applying that to my waterline. I don't have a white eyeliner so this is the best I could do with what I have. I'm using a small angled eyeliner brush to apply that to my waterline. I'm going back to the Real Her One palette and using the color Fine, using a small angled brush to line the under part of my eyelid as well as the inner corner. Next I am using the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner and I'm using that to line my eyes. For Hinata I used a very 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 thin line on my lid because I wanted it to look as natural as possible. I also did the smallest wing I could possibly do for her. Now I curl my eyelashes and I'm using the mascara by Too Faced in the brand Damn Girl. It's a new one that I'm trying out. I got the small one so it works pretty well so far. Now I'm applying these Sugar Pearl eyelashes in the style lullaby. One thing I like about these lashes is that they flare out at the end and they have a little bit of brown to it which makes it more natural. I'm using the Pirates of the Caribbean bronzer and highlighting kit and I'm using the bronzer color Lost Soul to contour my face. And I'm also using the highlighter color in the palette called Fortune to highlight my face. Next, I am using the blush from e.l.f. in the color Mellow Mauve, and I'm using a fluffy powder brush to apply that. I'm trying not to put that much on my face. I just put a little bit because Hinata does tend to blush a lot. Now I'm using this Tarte Lip Surgeon Lip Tint in the color Wonder and I do something very specific when I do the lips for this look. So what I do is I take the lipstick and only apply it to the inner parts of my top and bottom lip and I take my finger and evenly distribute it and smudge it out so it could look more of like a natural pink color versus having a very thick coat of lipstick on. I want it to look natural. The very last thing that I do is I apply these white mesh contact lenses that I got from Peaky Paradise. I usually put my contact lenses on first, but since these are very hard to see out of, it's difficult for me to do my makeup, so I decided to put my contact lenses for last. And now I am ready to kick some ninja butt. I hope you guys enjoy this cosplay makeup tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I will leave all of the product information in the description as well as a link to the contact lenses. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye!